like every company, we face the cost headwinds everyone has faced. So we did have to take pricing on about two thirds of our items. So we, these are items that compare to prestige quality products. So taking them up a little bit still made them an extraordinary value. But one of the things that we're really conscious of doing was keeping our low price point products untouched. So our $2, $3, $4 items, we didn't touch because we wanted to make sure that every consumer had access to our products and even those that might be on a real budget and they can afford our products and those who want to get something better than prestige can also get our I products. I think that's true, especially with the rising gasoline prices. Now, I, we're out here in San Francisco and the first thing people say when I ask them about business is, well, you know, you understand China, there's a lockdown, we can't get our equipment, we can't get it done. I read through your quarter. It didn't stop you at all. You navigated the supply chain perfectly in China. How was that possible? Well, we have a phenomenal team in China. Our entire team is in the Shanghai area, so they were indeed locked down for two months in their apartments. But between them and our exceptional suppliers, we're able to stay in production and continue to ship our products and been able to maintain 95% customer in stock. So I'm really proud of our team. Well, you just, they should be. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.